Hello again guys, relatively quick video for you today. I had somebody ask me how I manage my subscriptions on YouTube. As you know, if you go into YouTube and hit the subscriptions button, you can see a list of all the videos from your subscriptions from today, and yesterday, and this week, and blah blah blah. This is not necessarily a great option, especially because this watched thing doesn't really work across devices particularly well. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's been hit or miss. Well, if you're having problems with this, if you don't care for this, and I definitely don't because I don't use it, you can use something like an RSS feed reader. As you can see here, here are the most recent videos that I have not watched yet. Here's a list of just channels that I follow, channels I've been subscribed to, and oh look, here's Captain Sparkles, has one video that I haven't seen yet. Minecraft secrets you don't know. If I go over to Barnacle's Nerdgasm, you can see all of his videos here that I have watched. As an example, if I go over to Good Mythical More, there's two videos that I haven't watched yet. If I go ahead and mark those as red, you see that number goes down because I've clicked on it, it's been red. If I click on this list again, it'll show me all the ones that they've got in their list that are recent. It's not going to show every single one forever, but it'll show the most recent ones, up like 20 or 25 at least. So I've been a huge fan of managing my subscriptions this way, because whenever I get new ones, I just come to this one interface. By the way, this URL isn't going to work for you, it's an internal address. But I can come to this and find my videos, use one app and one website to do it. And the way that you get the URLs for these, let me just go ahead and right click on Adrian's. Use this URL, which I will have down in the description, but it's effectively youtube.com, feeds, videos.xml, channel ID equals something. And the something is what we're going to replace. So in order to get that, what you do is you go to somebody's channel or somebody's video, go to a video if you're not already on one, and then click on their name here. Now that may seem redundant, but you may have noticed before when we were on my channel it said twill.tv. That's not what you want. You want the actual channel identifier. So click on the name, it says youtube.com, channel, and then the channel identifier. So if you take this part of the URL and replace this section, channel ID equals something, with that, now this is an RSS feed for my channel. There you go. There's a bunch of information about my channel. Just a list of all of my most recent videos. So if I take that and I go to my RSS feed reader, and you can do this with any RSS reader, you don't have to specifically use tiny tiny RSS. So if you use Feedly or something like that, Flipboard I think, there's a bunch of others out there you can use. Go in and add a new subscription. In this case, I'm going to say subscribe to feed. I'm going to paste in my new URL with the channel ID on it. And I'm going to add this in particular to my YouTube subscriptions and say subscribe. Now normally when I do this, I do tend to also subscribe on YouTube. I'll go ahead and hit that subscribe button, which you are more than welcome to do yourself as well. I do it just to support the channels that I want to follow. But after a little bit of time there, you see now my subscriptions list has updated. And there's a bunch of new stuff that's popped in from Jordan Keys. Oh look, these are my videos. When I click on them, it's just marking them as red. It's treating them just like their news articles, just like their blog posts, whatever else you want to call them. And you can just go through these and watch them at your leisure. So here's an Altspace VR AMA that I did. Click on that. Oh look, there's the Altspace VR AMA that I did. So if you've been having trouble managing your subscriptions, if you just don't like the way that YouTube does it with the subscription box, but you do want to be able to be notified when new videos are released, check out the URL I have down in the video description, add a new channel ID to the end of it, stick it in your RSS feed reader of choice, and you are good to go. But that's going to be all for me for today. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to subscribe, or add this feed to your RSS feed reader if you want to be notified. Hit the like button below this video if you like this video. We'll see you next time. But just like the YN300 Air, you hit your battery button, it gives you a P number. In this case, it says P9. That P9 goes down to, I think, P1. I actually haven't run a battery all the way down on any.